Israel is a world leader in the field of agriculture. After all, we've developed drip irrigation, and today, this small country continues to lead in the field as it tackles new and emerging problems. And of these problems in the field of agriculture is pests and diseases. It's not something we often think about, but farmers continue to lose approximately 30% of their crops to disease and pests. That would be enough to feed roughly 2 billion more people. As such, AgroScout has developed an innovative method combining AI and drones that can help the 500 million farmers worldwide. And here to tell us all about it is Simcha Shor, CEO and founder of AgroScout. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to be with you. So what exactly does AgroScout do? AgroScout is an AI software development company. And we've developed a software that allows anyone to allow upload imagery that we can then use algorithms to do what people do, agronomists, when they go to the field mm -hmm. and detect those disease and pests. So we use commercial technology, which is now out there in the millions, and drop to about $1,000. Almost anyone can get it. And a lot of those growers actually have them or buying them. And through that, once they upload the images, we can give them that agronomy service we can reduce dramatically that damage that's happening. So let's take a step back for a second and talk about agriculture, mm -hmm. right? And the main challenges that, let's say, farmers face in the field today. Yes, yeah, so they, they have many challenges mm -hmm. as far as growing the, the crops. A lot of them have to do with, with water and fertilizer and, and growing more crop because mm -hmm. we need, as you said in the beginning, to grow a lot more to feed those, the growing population of the world. And yet at this time, they're losing so much to disease and pests. So what they're doing is pouring out more and more chemicals, but as you see, it's not efficient. But if you look at a process that's been here for the last 50, 60 years in Israel, where we have people scouting the fields and giving that prescription uh, to put out those chemicals, it actually drops to 5 10%. So it's about taking that best practice that people here in Israel developed and bringing it to all those growers around the world with just simple off-the-shelf technology. So in Israel, we're a small country, small fields, yes. small farms, right? But if you go abroad, you have farms with you know millions and millions of crops. How exactly are you helping these farmers? That's true. Yet the majority of those hundreds of millions of growers are small growers. Mm -hmm. The majority of the crop is being grown by small farmers growing a few acres behind their house. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I want to help the most. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that this technology is for them because it's efficient, but it's low cost, and it will give them that capability that they have. The big growers in North America, they, can also, they also have a scout, and they can also mm -hmm. pay for a service, mm -hmm. remote sensing from satellites, planes, also big drones, things like that. This is about everyone that doesn't have that, and this is a solution that can help anyone from the first acre. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially combining drones which is, in, you know, everyone in the world now is yes. purchasing a drone, and AI. So yes. you brought with you some of the technology, and I want to get into the technology mm -hmm. in a little bit, but first, why don't you show us what you have here? So these are DJI drones. This is the Phantom, one of their most uh, notorious ones, and this is a small one. This is their smallest and one. stop you for one second. For those who don't know, to our viewers, DJI is DJI the is leading the manufacturer of drones, right? Yes. It's a Chinese Dominant. company. Dominating, dominating the world of, yeah. the, of, of small drones. Uh, four guys that actually built this amazing robot mm -hmm. in the focus of using the, uh, great cameras on them. Mm -hmm. For different reasons, not for agriculture. Mm -hmm. But we're about taking this and turning it into a professional remote sensing platform. That's what our app does. Okay. It'll fly it around in the field like a Superman agronomist. So you can take this drone, which is sort of their flagship, one of their flagship yes. drones, which I see has, I don't know if we can see, has a camera here. Mm -hmm. attached to it yes. and this also this mini also drone. has a, a mini drone this is even this is even less this will even go for a few hundred dollars and this mm -hmm. will go for a thousand dollars so if the smallest grower has a few acres can afford mm -hmm. to buy something like this and our app will actually fly it around autonomously all they need to do is put it in the corner of the field and make a polygon of the field and it'll just fly around by itself so you Someone can download their app onto their tablet, Anything, phone, any phone. Any it's phone. an app on iOS and And it Android. will fly the drone autonomously yes. around the field. Yes, but not in a simple manner because okay. that'll just take endlessly. Mm -hmm. We just took the same amount of time, which is about 20 minutes for 100 acres that a, a, an agronomist would walk the field, and we tell the drone to fly around 
like a Superman agronomist. We asked them, how would you fly around if you were Superman? Literally. Mm -hmm. And that's how we fly around the field. So we're getting, when he sees hundreds of plants, we see thousands of plants. But they're not in just the corner of the field, they're over the entire field, which allows us to start talking about precision detection, which will lead to precision treatment. There are more and more companies dealing now with, with spraying drones, which are bigger, mm -hmm. but they still only have a few gallons of, of chemical. That'll only be relevant when we can have that kind of technology to tell them uh, where exactly. Sort of like what we've done in the IDF mm -hmm. in, in, in modern armies in the attack process. We don't just bomb statistically. We collect a lot of intel over an environment. That's what I've been doing for the last 20 years. Uh, don't tell anyone and mm -hmm. detecting bad people and taking that kind of concept into the field mm -hmm. and finding the bad people in this case are the disease and pests. Not because they're bad, just because they're causing that damage. And so you rely a little bit on sort of a community of, of farmers or, or people who are flying drones around who can download this app, kind of like a, a ways for the agricultural Yes, so for the industry. app is free. Mm -hmm. Fly it as much as you want. We want as much images that we can mm -hmm. and can, we can get and we'll only charge very little for the agronomy that we're actually giving him, which is actually the value mm -hmm. that the grower uh, needs. So we've flown the drone around, we've collected the, the images, what happens next? It goes up into the cloud, the algorithms work on it in the cloud itself. So it'll detect the major disease and pests causing the damage to a specific crop that we've already trained it, mm -hmm. but it also sees a green leaf and sees something on it, it'll bring that up as a problem. And then an agronomist anywhere in the world, because it doesn't have to be someone walking to the field. Mm -hmm. He can be in the Ukraine in the middle of a snowstorm on his computer helping a grower in Africa because he has the knowledge and he needs that, that knowledge. So it's about that community that you talked But in the early days of Waze, when all of us were working for Waze mm -hmm. to map out the streets, that's what we're talking about here. Okay. And so it goes up into the cloud and then a company your company in Israel, which yes. also has agronomist, scans the data. And the idea, though, is that eventually it'll just all be AI. Yes, so it's a, it's a journey. There are many disease and pests and agronomy problems in many crops, and we're, we're collecting now on multiple crops, and we'll be collecting more and more of that. The company is based up in the north of Israel, and we're actually supporting as many high-tech jobs as we can get up there but also a lot of our team is down south. I spent many years in Gaza in the IDF, and now I get to spend a lot of years around the Gaza because that's where they, they grow all the potatoes in Israel. Right. And our chief agronomist actually lives right on the border. So he gets up in the morning and, and walks the fields with his friends, the agronomists. So all this is happening in Israel, and you're yes. already working around the world, as I understand yes. it. Yes, so we're, we have major pilots in North America, and we're starting a major pilot in South America mm -hmm. with small growers. Uh, we also work with the bigger growers because a potato field is usually like 100 acres. Mm -hmm. So even if it's a big grower has many fields, the field itself is small. Mm -hmm. So you can do multiple uh, with this. We do pilots here in Israel, and at the end of this year, we're starting sales. So anyone can download it and pay for it and use this service. Great. Well, this is really remarkable and innovative technology. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you. I'd just like to say that everyone is welcome to join us on this journey. We are now raising money to increase what we're doing through Exit Valley. Exit Valley, who were on our show recently as well. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank the amazing startups who joined us. And remember to like us on Facebook at Israel English News, on Twitter at ILTV News, and visit us on our website at ILTV.TV. I'm Ladarga Velazi. Thanks for watching.